Jason, I think I'm going to disappoint you with this one. I really have no expectations, but good luck. Okay, well, you've 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 spoken just recently to me about uh, ladling too much praise on games, and I'm afraid that I'm going to have to ladle a shit ton of praise on Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons. Okay, uh, <laughs> you know how you know how in the last few years we've had uh, a bunch of summer of arcade games that have kind of been like, yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, do I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this is this is the first, I believe, of the some of arcade games that came out this year, and I fucking love this game. I think this game is fantastic. Uh, really? Yeah. Recently, we had somebody who um, who wrote into the the podcast, and they asked us, like, you know, you guys seem to dislike. Any game that's not about murdering people or spilling buckets of blood or any of that kind of stuff. Oh, shut your fucking <laughs> hole. <laughs> well, here is a game that I absolutely love that is um, that doesn't really have all that much in the way of violence in it. Hardly at all. Uh, and this is a game that is basically the... <clears throat> I don't know, I have a hard time kind of understanding how to explain this. So this is a game about two brothers... Yeah, uh, in kind of this medieval fairy taleish world, who basically their father uh, becomes sick, and they are sent out to get the one thing that can cure him. That is this tree of life somewhere, and they kind of end up going on this big journey. And the 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 best way to kind of sum up uh, most of of what I love about Brothers is the fact that this entire game, from start to finish, feels like a living fairy tale. Um, it is. A gorgeous game. I mean, you know, within the confines of a downloadable title. I mean, like, this isn't the best game. This isn't Skyrim with all the mods installed or whatever. Uh, sure. But it's got a great art style. It's got a wonderful kind of uh, feel to it. And part of this is this is by Starbreeze Studios. And it's developed in collaboration with this Swedish film director called y- Josef Fares or Fares or Joseph Fares, I guess, if we would be all American about it. Joseph Fares. He's a Swedish film director. And I looked up his IMDb, and uh, I'm going to read this off for you, Jason. You can tell me if you've ever seen anything this guy has ever done his entire life. I'm going to say no, but go ahead. All right. Yala Yala. Oh, that's a great one. Co- K- K-O-P-P-S. Cops. Uh, Zozo. Leo. And Farsan. These are his films. Uh, no. Can't, can't even... None of- None of those. Yeah, I can't even say I've ever even heard of this guy at all. But it's obvious, and this is a, a really interesting thing that, you know, we've talked for a while about how, or we've talked before about how games tend to be getting more cinematic and stuff. And a lot of the cutscenes in this game, because the game has no dialogue, uh, or no um, uh, English dialogue, shall we say. The... Oh, yeah. It has Swedish dialogues. You're just like, yeah, it doesn't have dialogue. No, well, I, I some other fucking crazy <laughs> language. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's actually that that Simlish where they're like, or say, but who could I say, bo, I mean, they're like all gibberish language. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah, just because you don't speak it doesn't mean it sounds like Simlish. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's not a foreign language. Like I can't. What, I, what if you were like, "Oh, that that's a that's a real language." No, well, if it is a real language, I apologize to the the entire culture of whoever's language it is. I've heard Swedish before. I know what it sounds like. This didn't sound like Swedish, but um, suffice to say, it's one of those awesome games where they get all of, they pack a lot of emotion and a lot of humor and a lot of just straight up storytelling into just kind of the visuals and the body language between the two characters and and the uh, the people that they encounter on their journey and stuff. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, it's it's varied in its execution where you start out in a town and you go into this cave and you go to the, a bunch of these different environments as you're going through the world. It's got some interesting kind of like dreamlike qualities in a certain place. And, and just the art style and the direction, like I got to say it again, I mean, it just it feels so much like a fairy tale. Like I could I could honestly see the story of this game as illustrated, you know, pictures in a, a book that you're reading to some kid before they go to bed. Now, this is like... Grimm's fairy tale kind of dark. I mean, this isn't, you know, Winnie the Pooh, the game or anything. Um, but it's got a great style to it. It's got a great sense of, of atmosphere to it. But 
on top of that, one of the more that int- reminds me. Side note: mm-hmm. We need to start writing our old ch- our own children's stories. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Here is a tale of Loretta and Gary Marzipan, and they were best friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or no, you want to write some of the blood and guts Grimm's fairy tales, fairy tales, right? Where at the end everybody uh, is terribly disfigured and it sucks. That's good too. Yeah, whatever, you know. <laughs> um, and this is the story of the porno werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be more of like to like a Sesame Street type of thing. Ow, says the porno werewolf. Can you go <laughs> ow? <laughs> um but as the you know the the two brothers in the game there's a, a younger brother and an older brother and they uh it's interesting because what makes this game a little bit different than a lot of other games is that you control one brother with each one of the the analog sticks so the left thumb stick controls one and the right thumb stick controls the other and the entire game is based on using these two characters at the same time to solve puzzles interact with the world and overcome obstacles and so each one of them moves with the stick and then each one of them the respective left trigger and right trigger on the on the Xbox controller is like your one button for interacting with the world um so you need to pick something up that's that button you need to shimmy along a ledge you hold down that button you need to turn a crank you hold down that button and you move the stick around and at first it's the it's maybe one of the most awkward feeling things that you've ever done in your entire life because you're just like i don't understand which one of my like your brain just revolts at first and it's like you can't control two people at the same time it's crazy talk <laughs> Uh, but as the game goes on, you know, you really get kind of into the groove of it, uh, and it becomes a lot. It becomes a lot easier as as the game progresses. And you know, it's weird because I I feel like I want to say more about this game, but part of the part of the awesomeness of this is going to be the way is going to be discovering this world and interacting with the obstacles in it uh, on your own. So it's not, you know, I can't I can't really go into too much detail about it. And with that, I don't like. I don't even know how much more I can even say about this in a review because, like I said, there's not. You know, it's not well, like you, 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 you've been sucking its dick for the last like seven minutes. Uh huh. What What's bad about it? Uh, it's short. That's the only okay. thing. Uh, it's only about I mean, you know, depending on how good you are at puzzle games and how how well you're able to jam. Uh, on on these sorts of things. Even the puzzles in the game aren't really all that ridiculously difficult. Uh, and the the cost of death is, I mean, you just go back to a checkpoint and they checkpoint very liberally. It's, you know, there's a lot of little kind of sideways stuff or side quest stuff that you could do where you wander off the main path, you interact with different stuff, have the brothers do different things that are wandering around in the world. But if you just kind of stick to the main story, it's maybe three hours. Uh, and the side stuff is maybe another hour at most, depending on how leisurely you are playing the game. So this is not a long game, and it is $15, uh, which a lot of people may have a problem with as far as, you know, your... And, and the other problem is that when you get done playing the game, there's not really a whole hell of a lot of reason to go back and play it again. Uh, sure. Now, now, since there are two brothers, is there a multiplayer option where, no. like... No, not at all. Nope, 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 nope. You play it. Unless, unless you and a friend want to share a controller. Yes, if you want to play the most awkward multiplayer game in the entire goddamn universe, <laughs> you could totally do that. Or I, I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't believe so. There at least was no online multiplayer option, and I didn't try. You know, I didn't hook up another controller and try. It doesn't seem like a game. Like, it seems like if you were only controlling one of the brothers, it would be too simple unless you had, you know... Somebody like you there to be like, God damn it, I wanna I wanna go over here and you're like, No, we have to go over here. <laughs> um But the story is good. It takes a really interesting takes some interesting turns that play with some conventions of this sort of thing. There's a few levels in the game that are incredibly uh creative there's well, the next to the last level in fact there's a a place where you're platforming across an environment that is interesting in a way that i've I've seen a few games get close to but none uh, but none you know really do is in detail as in this particular game um, when you get done with the game you can go back there's some achievements that you can get for doing all the little side obstacles in the game and you could 
do a there's a chapter select so you could pick a, a different chapter to go to. But all in all, I mean, it's just a really well put together game, and to say anything more about it would probably spoil it for people. So okay, don't, don't say anything more and give it a rating already. Ah. Uh, I give this game five stars, man. This is fucking, what the fuck? This is a really enjoyable experience that I really loved. And I, I keep trying to think of outside of it's one of those games like Journey or, um, you know, one of those games where it's not especially long, but there wasn't it ever locked up for me. It wasn't irritating. You know, I thought I was totally entranced by both the the uh, artistic design and the music design and all that stuff. And it was a really, really good story. And it was a five really stars good is the highest honor, Jeff. I know, but I can't think of any reason. I mean, like I enjoyed the shit out of it, and there wasn't any reason not to. So, so you're saying this is a perfect uh, game for what it is? I mean, I uh, yeah, I'm sticking by it. Fuck it, man, I'm sticking Whoa. by it. Oh, yeah. I, I think this is one of the best games that I've played this year. I think it's totally worth $15. I think downloading it is great. I'm sure that there'll be people out there who probably disagree with me, but I just had so much fun, and I was so sucked into this little world that I just loved the shit out of this game. So, mm. And now I feel bad. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like you're gullible. That's what I feel like. Yeah? That I just, I'm willing to give, I'm willing to give yeah. the stars out. I'm, I'm, you're, you're, you're just I'm like... A- Oh, you you just need money for a bus ride home? Here's here's fifty dollars. You say, are you calling? Are you star slut shaming me, Jason? Is that what's going I think, on? I here? think you're an easy mark. I think that's what you are. <laughs> Aww. Or say. Badoo could I say bow, but 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 I